Hi everyone, my name is Bianca Ann Lawson and welcome to my YouTube channel. So in today's video, I'll be talking to you about how to help your toddler get the thing out of their nose that they put up their nose. So this morning I had a situation where I was in my bed with my toddler and I was doing my daily ritual prayers of God, please protect my family, please protect my children. And as I was praying that, my almost three-year-old daughter, she had a little diamond sparkle, like just the tiniest size, okay? Like this big, but big enough where she thought it would be funny to test that out. You know how kids are, they'll try anything and see what happens. Even though I've told her countless times, don't put anything in your nose, in your mouth, in your ears, in your eyes. She wanted to try it out for herself and see where does this little diamond go? So she wedged that up her nose trying to get at it she pushed it further down and when she told me mommy mommy i put something in my nose and i can't get it out so i obviously came to the rescue and i looked up her nose and i couldn't see it and i started freaking out i was really frustrated because i just like not long ago woken up and this is how i start my day i'm like great i'm gonna have to go to the er i'm gonna have to go to the hospital like this is not what i wanted and nah, 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 nah. you know you start freaking out as a parent i have like another four month old baby that i've just been um just tending to because she's been sick a lot for the past couple months with different viruses and all that so it was just that was just like the last thing i wanted to do is like try to get this little thing out of her nose but i knew it's important that it doesn't stay there so I was praying, I'm like, Lord, you say no no bad thing will happen to my family, so deliver me out of this in Jesus' name. And boom, God gave me a thought, and that thought worked, guys, okay? So I ended up taking this syringe, and I put it with, uh, I filled it up with water, okay? And... I ended up putting it through the other nose. So let's say if the little object was somewhere wedged up here, I took this, I laid it on the side and I flushed it out and the little diamond came out and I was like, praise God, this is amazing. So there you have it. That's all you have to do is just take this, flush it out and it's gonna come out, okay? If it doesn't come out, then go to the ER and get help to take it out because I don't know what it can do up there. I don't know if it can travel up to the brain. I don't know, but you don't want to find out. And so no foreign object should be like randomly um, lost in the body. <laughs> so I hope this helps you with your little one who is curious about getting objects up the nose. And yeah, let me know in the comments section if uh, if this trick has helped you, if you have any suggestions and your stories about your children getting things up their nose. Just quickly before I end, when I was a kid, I was just like my daughter. I ended up finding an Advil. I don't know how I got my parents Advil. And I put that up my nose and I had a nosebleed. And I don't know how they took it out, but they managed because I don't have that today. But that is my little funny story. So if you have your own little funny stories, please let me know. Until then, God bless you and may God help you with the process of raising your kids because it's not always easy and take care until next time. Bye.